sort of another statement. This one actually proves mm -hmm. that uh, the road between Bukhara and Samarkand, I mean the, ca the, the car road, it is uh, built right over the trade roads of the past. So tomorrow on the way back, you will be exactly on the Great Silk Road. And you can stop by this and uh, see. This is the water supply system uh, for the caravans along the caravan roads in the desert. Like okay. deep in the desert, there is no one. There is a construction like this, which is called Sardoba. Okay. Sard in Farsi means cold, ob means water. So the place with the cold water, okay. where they could keep cold and fresh water even during the hottest days of summer. Mm -hmm. okay. How it worked is, look, uh, the, first of all, they had to choose mm -hmm. a deep point mm -hmm. uh, in every like 30, 35 kilometers, because okay. like 30 kilometers was, 30, 35 kilometers was the average distance which caravan could make in one day. Okay. Okay. So they find a deep point. And now here we can see the cut. Okay. So, they start digging a well, which has a diameter like 20-25 meters. Okay, uh, big one, big one. Yeah, a huge well. Uh, first of all, Are they diamond? check, like, let's say this is, this is round and 25 meters, okay? Okay. So, in the center, like one and a half meter diameter, mm -hmm. they make like 40 centimeters of uh, pit and check if the underground water is not there mm -hmm. so they take the layer of 40 centimeters out and then another check and then another 40 centimeters out okay another check until they reach the underground water level as soon as they reached so they start building a well okay like blocking and as soon as they are this is the ground level as okay. soon as they are above it they start forming the dome okay with the openings Okay, so you have a construction like this. Okay. So inside it has a well. So that means these walls continue down okay. till the underground water. So underground waters, when they have uh, an exit, so they start flowing out, which means they oh. filled it well. Okay. And then this uh, dome provides shade, first okay. of all. Secondly, these openings, uh, I mean, breathe going those, through those openings, cool the temperature inside. Okay. But in summer times, in summer days, in the hottest days, temperature reaches like 60, 63, okay. which is too hot. And this shade is not enough. And the stable water can start uh, spoiling and uh, it will start smelling. You know? Okay. The water uh, yes, gets uh, uh, spoiled. Still, yeah. yeah. So for that reason, what they make is they take a thick layer of uh, they put a thick layer of uh, reeds. You know reeds. Reeds. It is like bamboo, but very thin, okay. uh, which grow okay. near the water, and they are hollow inside. Yes, yes. So you dry them, and then put a thick layer of it. It okay. doesn't uh, drown inside. No, it doesn't drown. So it starts floating, and because it has those hollow spaces in between, it functions as insulation. Okay. And the heat doesn't go through and the water stays cold and fresh. Okay. And this is how they provided uh, water, over that water time. At that along time. the caravan road. On the street. The still there are some on the road? On between some Bukhara and Samarkand, uh, you are taking the yes, van. The, the yeah, yeah, same so after 100 kilometers, uh, you drive you from Bukhara. Tell the driver. I can me. tell the driver. So you can stop by and have a look. Okay. It is not functioning today, of course. Of course, but it should yeah. be there. But the, no, the building is there, but uh, you won't see the water inside. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.